Good morning, good people of the world. Up early, I've been up for about 30 minutes. I figure I'd take y'all through my day to day. It's 6.26 in the morning. It's my setup, my double computer, where I uh, do my work from. These two old dinosaurs, uh, they do the job. Anyway, good morning, rise and shine. Uh, I'm gonna make this video a compilation of this day. Peace out, much love and respect. Catch you in the next clip. Your room is filthy, but just like the boys. But now I gotta, Look, I you got a whole plate of something right there. What is that? No, no days. Oh, I want you to throw it away, though. I just ate that this morning. Oh, you was eating? Yeah, and then I cleaned my bed, and then I was waiting to do my floor after my hair. Okay, well, get it done. My hair not done yet. Oh, well, I'll check back to you when it's done. Oh. This is the boys' room. Three beds, one for company. I guess one for both of them to sleep in, uh, and one <laughs> and one for the air conditioner. <laughs> anyway, this ain't even your bed. That's the bed. That's the guest bed. This? Yeah, that's that some, that's for y'all company. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, y'all got a couple minutes for y'all get up for school. Are you are you just <laughs> dude? It is 6.30. You bet we got 30 minutes. Something like that. I got one. Hold on. Let me change the camera. Come on, get on the bathroom. Hold on. I'm trying to change the camera, Quinn. Oh, oh. No, stop. What are you... I got one down the street. Let me see if I can pick him up. I took too long to come out the door, so he walked into school with his basketball. I don't know if y'all guys could see that. But this guy's full of it because the minute I drive past him, he's gonna be time he'll pick me up. Hold on, let me take it out of full mode. Let's go pick this dude up. No, right go here. past him. Make him go think we're gonna him. leave him. Make him think we're gonna leave him. <laughs> Let him keep uh, trucking yeah. with those make him big, think we gonna leave him. big boats on his feet. <laughs> go past him. Let's make him think. Keep going. <laughs> You wanna go get in the car. You gonna keep walking. What you doing? Car. Why you getting in? Why you getting you in? You wanna ride? Move. We don't wanna take you. You can pay for it. No us. man, keep walking. There you go, bro. You got this. Hey! <laughs> you know he faking the fuck, right? What, what's the weather? Let me see. It's 41 degrees right now. 41 has some fun. It's 41 degrees. That's why you walking and acting like that, boy. But when it's 20 degrees, I'm going to see that same little attitude. Keep that energy, all right? All right, we out. Let him be. See ya. You can pay for a ride. You can pay for a ride. You paying for a ride? Come on. You can pay it's cold, for It costs $5. Get in. Okay. It's cold now, right? Oh, big tough man, Cole. Come on, Come on, get in the door unlocked, tough man. <laughs> All right, go down to the street. All right, love y'all. See y'all. Y'all got after school, right? How you doing, sir? Good. Hey, uh, do me a favor and stay off your phone when you're in school zone. That's a side of offense. It's a what? Excited for that. For what? Being on my phone in the school zone? Yeah. Go for it then. I'll, I'll wait on it. I've seen you twice this year. I come here every single day. I've seen this car. Maybe you, somebody else maybe a month ago. Why are you here today? Because it's twice in the whole year. Maybe in 120 days. I've seen the cops out here twice. Yeah, we, we watched Right. So what you looking for today? Somebody seen you out here? No. Do you have it by yourself? Speeding and for some. Yeah, but this only twice. In 120 days. So why those two days instead of every day? We have calls for service. Right. And then you say you're going to cite me for being on my phone in the school zone. I can. Go for it. I want that cite. I want to see you in court for it. Why? I want to see you in court for that one. Why? Because you you lying. Okay. All right. State the law. I ALCS. Tell me the law. I tell me the code. you telling me the code, so tell me. 12610.1. Okay. Look it up. I'm looking at it when I get home. So I figured I'd go home and look up the law. ILCS 625-512-610.2 talks about the Illinois cell phone laws. It mentioned nothing about a school, 
So I don't know what he was talking about with the school. It is a hand-free state. I keep mine mounting on my dash, so I don't know what he's talking about. But instead of out there just keeping the peace and making sure the community is safe, he's looking for reasons to cite people and get more money for the city. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. So I only saw two cops out here in 120 days. And this is the first time I'm seeing this dude. And they're just out there to take your money. They find different spots to rob you. Only thing I can see, they're not out there keeping the peace. They're not out there protecting the community. It's not a friendly face in the neighborhood, the neighborhood officer. <laughs> no, he out there getting money this morning. It's a hustle, folks. Anyway, back to the video. 12, 16.1. 12, 16.1. 625 ILCS. 12, 16.1. And that's, I could be cited for using my phone in the school zone. Yes. And what that pertains to. Give me an understanding on that law. Well, you can't have your cell phone in your hand. It's a hands free state. Oh, it's not in the car. While you're driving an automobile. I wasn't driving. I put it over, then put it off my, off my dash. That's not what I saw. I don't care what you saw, my video approved it. Well, if you're taking a video, you drive, and then that's your evidence right there. Right. Uh, you have a nice... Day. So I want your citation, or you're not going to give it to me today? No, I'm giving you a warning. Oh, don't give me a warning. Give okay. me the citation. Why? Because I want to prove you wrong in court. Right. See, that's how I prove you wrong. What's your badge number? 592. And what's your name? Officer Warren. And what's your position? I'm a patrolman. Okay. I only seen you out here twice in 100 days. Okay. So I'm just figuring, why here today? Why every day? I'll be here tomorrow, too. Please, every day. I would love to see you sitting here every single day to know this school zone is safe because my boys go here. But if I only see you twice, then I think you up to something. You bored this morning and you're looking for victims. This is how my perception works. Okay. You have a good day. Uh, enjoy yours too, sir. So if I have my phone out in the school zone, I could be cited. Isn't that the Illinois law that you could be cited anytime you ain't hands free? Right. So why only a school zone you mentioned? That's what I'm hearing. Oh, okay. Just for the phones or the speed? And, and the speed. Okay. And child restraints. All that good they, stuff? They have to be in the child restraints. All right. Why not just come here and make sure everything is peaceful, peaceful this morning? Why try to do law enforcement on seatbelts and, and minuscule part, stuff? That's part of my job. All right. I get it. You, you got a mandate, right? I get it. I respect we got, that. We got a job to do. Yeah, I only saw you twice, though. That's my only issue. If I saw you... Five times a week or three times a week, I will, we wouldn't have this conversation. The well, problem I'd is... I here every day, but sometimes when calls or service don't allow us to. Okay, and I get it. you have to realize that in my area, there's four schools, so I have to share my love everywhere. No, okay. share your... I'm with it, I'm with it. So, I mean, if your kids are going to another school, you'd want me at that school too, right? But you guys officer 270... It's 270 officers in Springfield. Uh, you know I got to imagine... You know how many work uniform patrol? Tell me. 155. All right, and, and this morning, how many is out here? On the streets? Yeah. 16. 16, that's it? Oh, well. Well, I just hope to see you more, man. Uh, you know, when you, more. when you talking about citing stuff and I only see you twice in a year, that kind of make me wonder your motives. If I see you every day, then I know you care about the community. So I'm, I'm going to let you get back to your job and patrol and make sure people following the laws, all right? Have a good day. Enjoy the day, sir. So I got a problem with my suspension right now. And uh, I can't afford to fix it. I don't know if y'all can see this video. So, let me get up under here. Y'all can see all the squeaks that I'm having right now. So I spray. And what this WD-40 does for me, it displaces the water. It stopped the corrosion, so until I can afford to get my suspension fixed, I'll be spraying away, and that's what I do. I just give it a good spray, try to make sure I get all that good stuff. <laughs> Look, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just telling you what I can afford to do right now to help out my suspension. I got a little squeak when I hear little bumps and stuff, so. I know what the problem is. I know I need to put it in the shop and just change all my struts and my bearings and my sway bars. Like I've had this car for three and some some months. Three years and some months. And uh, I ain't put no major money into it. I've changed the battery. I've uh, changed the battery. 
I've uh, shit changed the tires once a year, and that's about it. Honestly, uh, I ain't put no money into this car. I don't plan on it. It's a it's a it's a, it's a crappy Chrysler. And you know, Chrysler's don't make good vehicles. What's good with it, brother? So I'm spraying my wheel wells. I got a squeak going on. <clears throat> so what I do is just spray, spray, spray. It's Uncle Monkey, y'all. What's, What's good with it, old man? How you doing, man? Oh, uh, you got it. This is a cheap fix, right? 